Well, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we're glad therein. We're so grateful to God for life, health, strength, use, and activity of our limbs. We're thankful to God and appreciative for all that he's done and all that he's going to do. On this, it feels good kind of Friday. Why does it feel so good? Uh, because God is so faithful. God is faithful. Even when we're faithless, our God is faithful. Even when we're not faithful, he's faithful to us. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And we're so ever grateful and appreciative to God for all that he's done and all that he's going to do. So listen, we're in day number 59 of our walk through a daily devotional authored by a man by the name of Peter Scazzaro. I pray you been walking with us through this daily devotional. I pray you have, you have been watching these videos and maybe even going back over some videos that you missed and taking this journey with us. I pray maybe you've been feeling compelled uh, to order the daily devotional yourself. It's only, it's less than $10. I don't exactly remember right now, but it's less than $10. And that's all we're doing, beloved, is walking through this daily devotional. There's no shame in my game. I'm a firm believer and you don't have to reinvent the wheel when the wheel is already um, before you. Mr. Scazzaro has gone through blood, sweat, and tears, and taken painstaking efforts uh, to put this daily devotional in our hands, and all I'm doing is cobadizing it. All I'm doing is filtering it through Kobe uh, and giving it and dispersing it uh, to those individuals uh, that I serve, those individuals that I have immediate impact and influence in their life, and I pray it's been a blessing to you as we've been walking through this, because I believe, I agree with Mr. Caz Mr. Scazzaro, and this is is why this devotional grabbed my attention because I believe that it is God's desire and design for all of us to be healthy in every area of our life, financially to be healthy, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, in every area of our life, relationally. And I say this every devotional because I really want that to resonate in your spirit that it is God's desire for you and I to be healthy. So let's dive right into it. Day number 59. Our scripture reading is coming from St. Mark chapter 10, verses 41 through 44. When the 10 heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, Whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. Whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. Amen. For the past several devotionals, Mr. Scazzaro has really been pulling us and really been pushing us to learn to love well. He's been telling us that the art of truly being mature in the things of God is not how many verses of scripture I know. It's not how many tongues I can talk. It's not how many songs or hymns I can line. But no, the mark or the test of my true spiritual maturity is knowing how to love well. In fact, it is the lesson that Jesus is getting, getting, trying to get over to us on today, even his disciples that walked with him, they heard all of the lessons. They heard all of the teachings. They were impacted by the miracles, by the signs and the wonders. And here it is, even the disciples missed it. Even the apostles that were with him, most notably in our text today, uh, James and John, the sons of thunder, they missed it. They missed this lesson. They saw all the things that Jesus did. They heard all the things that Jesus had said, but yet their one question to Jesus was, Master, can we sit on your right hand and your left hand? Ooh, and when the disciples heard that, that's what the text said. When the 10 heard that, I know they would say, oh, no, they didn't. Oh, no, they didn't. Did you hear what they just asked? I can imagine Peter right now in my sanctified imagination saying, what did James and John just ask? And then one account said that they mama got involved. You know it's getting real 
real messy. It's getting real dirty when somebody mama get involved. The mama came and said, Jesus, get my boys sit on your right hand and on your left hand. And Jesus took a word picture, something that they can, something that they can grab their, their, uh, something they can sink their teeth in. He took an illustration of their day, something that they can grab, something that they can wrap their mind around. And he said that even the kings or those that are in an authority over the Gentiles, they exercise their authority over people. In other words, they're in authority and they are rightfully in authority and they make sure they let you know they're in authority. But Jesus said it should not be that way in the kingdom. Can I tell you that not only did James and John uh, miss this in their day, but the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ have been missing it ever since and even before then because here it is, it's much easier to be served than it is to find someone to serve. It's so much easier to enforce someone to submit than it is for me to submit to someone else. It's so much easier for me to be able to do my own thing than for me to be able to get in line or get in alignment with where someone else is already in authority and where God has already placed me. Here it is. Jesus is teaching his disciples and teaching you and I today that we must learn to love and not want the Lord. Oh, I just said something good right there. We must learn to love and not to Lord. It's much easier. Mr. Scazzaro points it out in the daily devotion of the day. And I want to quote him exact. When do you quote somebody? When they can say it a whole lot better than you can. It seems easier to be God than to love God easier to control people than to love people easier to own life than to love life lord have mercy it's so much easier for me to be in control than for me to get in line with what is going on or what's already in control here jesus said how can i serve you jesus said how can i love you and here it is with the disciples you and i the followers of the lord jesus christ we don't imitate jesus or follow jesus and instead of us asking how can we love and how can we serve Instead, we say, how can we Lord or how can someone serve me? I believe it goes all the way back from the, all the way back to the garden, all the way back to the garden. When that snake, when that old devil, when he said to Eve, he said, in the day that you eat of the fruit of the tree, he said, you're not going, nothing bad is going to happen to you as I paraphrase. He said, but you're going to be as God. You're going to be able to discern good and evil. And from that particular day all the way up until now until the time of Christ we have been trying to replace love with power I'm gonna let that sit there I'm gonna let that sit right there let that simmer right there we've been trying to replace love with power but here it is we miss it as the people of God because if I love well if I serve well if I give well, if I humble myself well, then everything else will fall in place. Here it is. I don't have to lord. I don't have to force. I don't have to uh, manipulate. I don't have to try to make anything happen. But no, all I have to do is love. All I have to do is serve. All I have to do is be as my Savior was. And he was willing to lay his life down and ransom for you and I. And he said, if I be lifted up, he said, I'll draw all men unto myself. So oftentimes, we want to Lord, but we don't like loving. Let me keep on going. Here, <laughs> uh, Mr. Scazzaro points out to us today in our daily devotional that Jesus lived. He lived that temptation in the most agonizing way from the desert to the cross. It's a temptation in the most agonizing way from the desert to the cross. The long, painful history of the church is a history of people ever uh, and again being tempted to choose power over love, control over the cross, uh, being a leader over wanting to be led. 
uh, Lord have mercy, in order for us to be mature, in order for us to be healthy. And see, if I don't get this, I will mishandle every relationship in my life, not just in the kingdom, but on my job, not just on my job, but in my home, not just in my home, every relationship in my life, I will mishandle it if I don't learn to love and not wanting to be served. I did not come, is what Jesus said. I did not come to be served, but I came to serve. I came to seek and to say that which is lost. So our prayer today is, is not, Lord, send someone to me, God, that I can lord over. But God, my prayer today need to be, Lord, send me someone, God, that I can love. And if all you have to do, you don't have to go very far. I heard one old, one old song, one old great man of God, the late Bishop Lawrence Charles Callahan Sr., he sung a song called Miracle. He said, you don't have to go very far to see a miracle, but you can stay right where you are if you want to see a miracle. And you don't have to go very far, you don't have to go very far, not just to see a miracle, thank you, Bishop Callahan, but also if you don't have to go very far to see someone you need to love, to see someone that you need to serve, to see someone that you need to give up yourself over to, to see someone that you need to submit to, to be able to say, God, I want everything you have for me. And God, I know you're going to do it through this vehicle called love. All right, I'm out of here. God bless you. I pray this video encourage you. I pray this video spoke volumes to you. Like this video, share this video, and I pray that God bless you. All right, I'm out. I'll see you again soon. Love you. Bye-bye.